This is the post detail page where all comments are displayed. In order to send an email, we need to install a module named Node Mailer. And create an instance of it at the top of server.js. In the reply form we also need to send the email of person. So create a hidden field inside the form which will store user email. Just checking if the email is receiving properly. So we have received it perfectly. Now just have to hide it from user. And attach this email field value with the Ajax too. First we have to create a transporter object which will tell the service used to transport the email. We are using Gmail service. And you have to enable less secure apps for your Gmail account. Link will be provided in the description. In auth object you have to enter your real Gmail ID and real Gmail password. In mail options we have to tell from whom this email is sending. For the sake of simplicity you can use your website name. And to whom the email should be sent. In this case we are receiving user email in request body. And you need to tell the subject which will be shown on inbox main page. And the content of email. We will replace this user string with real username. This should be the name of person who is sending a reply. Also we need to add the post link in the email, so user can directly go to the post detail page. Just copy the post URL and paste it. Here we need to replace the post ID with what we are receiving in request body. Now we can send the mail using transporter object. First will be the mail option. And second will be the call back function which will be called when an email has been sent. And finally just cut the response and paste inside this call back. It will take just few seconds. Sometimes it went in the spam folder. So if it is not in inbox, then it must be in spam. Here this link will take you to that post detail page. And here is the reply. In next tutorial we will do the real-time reply feature.